Kevin, to quote Cody Rhodes, the man who will probably, may not even face Roman Reigns in the WrestleMania main event, and at this point, I genuinely don't believe we'll finish the story. To quote Cody, what do you want to talk about? Well, I'm glad you asked that, Jimmy. So we had uh, some blistering news come out last week. <laughs> Insane headlines, right? Something that I never thought was really possible. If you would have told me in 2019 that we would be in a world five years later where the big news that Warner Bros. Yes, Warner Bros. Discovery. Uh, for those who don't know, that is the company that AEW has their current TV shows on. Dynamite, Rampage, and Collision are all on Warner Bros. Networks like TNT and TBS here in the United States. Where all the money's made, pal. That company, Warner Bros. Discovery, is the number one bidder for WWE Monday Night Raw. SmackDown, as we know, is moving to, uh, to USA, and then they're going to have some big shows on NBC. You know, they got the cock going, pal, for, the, for the, the PLEs. And the question is Raw. Where will Raw air its, uh, its lovely three-hour show with Pepsi Phil on it? And McIntyre and, and Rhea Ripley yelling at Adam Pearce. Where, what network will that be on in late 2024? The, the three names that, that have been reported, three top names. Warner Bros. Discovery, Amazon, and uh, what was the other one? Prime. No, not Prime. Uh, Disney. Disney, sorry. <clears throat> Disney Plus. So, I'll ask you, pal. If Warner Bros. Discovery hands Nick Khan and Paul Levesque and the people at Endeavor Investment, whatever that, that company's called, the people at Endeavor, if they hand them a blank check and say, we want Monday Night Raw, is that the end of AEW? Like, truly, is that the end of AEW? Well, that would be the network AW resides on being like, oh, we want WWE. If, if you like them cheating on AW in a relationship sense, that would be what that is. Like, that's just, that's blatant. That, that, that would be ground, groundbreaking. And yes, there's, there's all these talks with, you know, TV ratings is one thing. That, that's the sort of thing. But this is like a whole bombshell. This, this goes well above the other sort of metrics, other sort of discussions. This would be big that's a big deal and whether it happens i mean all reports kevin as you're saying you know doesn't seem like it, yeah it seems closer to being done than not being done so you know um that'd be funny but imagine you know wwe roll up on monday nights and then i be like oh tony khan Raw? adam pierce here's like a, a freak out pal that is landscape changing for wrestling i just Wow, is that happy? Yeah, wow. I don't think Warner Bros. Discovery is going to want four nights of wrestling on there littered across their networks. I, I, I think uh, something's going to give, and we saw this happen with ECW in the year two thousand when they were on. Uh, what was the what was the network called? UPN. I want to say somebody will correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, ECW was on UPN or TNN, maybe maybe it was TNN. I don't know what the network was called, but they were on a network, <clears throat> big network. ECW. Oh my God, ECW is here. Weekly TV. They made it, pal. They're going to thrive forever. And then uh, Vince McMahon is like, oh, we want to be on your network. We're going to bring Raw to your network. We're going to bring Raw's War, the hottest show in wrestling, pal. We're going to leave USA. We're going to go here. And they kicked off ECW. And that was it. ECW went out of business. Paul Heyman went hungry. Tommy Dreamer went hungry. All these wrestlers are homeless. All on the back of Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Not only did he kill the territories in the 80s, but he killed ECW in 2000, pal. Single-handedly by taking ecw's network i don't know how to follow that up now bang on bang on um and yeah <laughs> will that will they want four nights of wrestling power will they be desperate for aw collision power desperate for aw dynamite with blistering main events like adam copeland at 50 versus christian cage with a single t-shirt on will they be desperate for nick wayne's mother marching down to the ring like she's steve austin to decide who she wants to hit in the head with the tnt title with botched ref bumps with Bryce Rimsberg, pal. Is that what Warner Brothers are desperate to try and get on their network, pal? Miss camera shots that you, you can't even see Bryce Rimsberg getting knocked over by Adam Copeland. <laughs> Is that what they're trying to get, pal? <laughs> uh, I mean, I can go on that further as we might in a moment, but now just staying on the Warner Brothers thing for a second. Uh, I mean, AW's run, Kevin. We're heading into 2024 as we record this. Uh, they came into the, the picture in 2019, burst onto the scene. Seemingly now, I mean, behind the scenes, you got 
big producers. You got people who've been integral to the company leaving or being fired or resigning. You got this. You know the directions clearly. You got Brian Danielson tweeting that if you do what's right and follow your heart, and you know it's not about the. There's it's a lot going on, um, and not so much of it's very good for AW. And then it's, it's it's I would say it's sad for AW, but after how they without their run, Kevin, it's not sad at all. It's it's sort of fitting. I don't I don't know. Yeah, th- this is not great. And logistically, realistically, there's two things going on here, right? Or three, possibly. So the first thing is Warner Bros. probably leaked this information so Tony Khan and AEW can get their shit together and start making a good program. Uh, two, WWE could be using it. Like, oh, hey, Disney, hey, Amazon, uh, Warner Bros. here is offering us $2 billion. What are you guys going to offer us? Like, that kind of thing. That's pretty much what I would say is going on. I, I, if I had to put money on it, I would not put money on Raw being on TNT or TBS. I, I just don't. I, I, I think they're, I, I think they want Disney. I think they want FX or <clears throat> they want Prime. I think that's the, the spot that they're going for. Um yeah, I don't think they're going to so mess with it. Good. So your position is that they're just using it as, like, leverage? They use Both it, sides uh, are Nick using Khan, it. Yeah, like, like Nick Khan potentially is walking into big business deals with, you know, companies that are willing to offer billions and billions of dollars. And Nick <laughs> Khan's like, look, and he, he's, he's outlining deals. He's got a PowerPoint presentation with a heap of, heap of zeros going from one end of the screen to the other with how much money Monday Night Raw is worth and this deal should be worth. And he's saying... They're offering this, offer more. Basically. Know, like, yeah, and, and yeah. Warner is like looking at Tony Khan like, hey, look, we don't want to see two 50-year-old men main event a, a show anymore. We want ratings. Like, you fired punk, you idiot. <laughs> you, you fired punk. You're doing too much coke. So Warner Bros. is like throwing ice water on the guy. You know, they're like throwing ice water on Tony Khan. Like, here, wake up. Stop doing coke. Stop with the hookers. Put that stuff down. Make a good TV show. And allegedly, the guy that owns uh, Warner Discovery is like a big CM Punk fan. I guess that's why he got the oh, name really? One Bill. Yeah, that's where he got the name One Bill Phil from. So yeah, yeah, Phil brought in one billion in revenue, pal. He orchestrated a one billion dollar revenue deal for Tony Khan and AEW, and they're gonna lose it now, all because of Tony Khan firing Punk. So I, I, yeah, enough about that. Let's talk about this. So this mm. is the content that Warner Bros. Discovery is gonna be offering north of a billion dollars for for yep. AEW. Yep. Uh, you saw it. I didn't see it. I, I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm gonna watch it, but I haven't got to it yet. Uh, last night we saw Edge versus Christian. Or I should say Adam mm. Copeland versus Christian Cage. Yep. On an episode of Dynamite, not a pay per view, not mm-hmm. a special show, just a regular episode of Dynamite on Wednesday, December sixth at 9:45 p.m. Those two guys are trucking out to the ring. Yep. Having a match. Uh, Nick Wayne is there. Nick Wayne's mother is there, as you yep. mentioned. Yep. And yeah. Uh, so <laughs> that's what Water Bros. Discovery is offering a north of a billion dollars for. Uh, I, I mean, the Adam Copeland signing, the Adam Copeland signing has not turned out the way that I think AEW and Tony Khan thought. Tony Khan was like, oh, Edge is a big star. He'll replace one Bill Phil. And uh, yeah, that. I don't think that's the case. I'm curious to see what the ratings number is of that that uh, that big main event draws, pal. But yeah, go ahead, take it away, pal. Kevin, it wasn't even a special episode of Dynamite. They're doing Winter is Coming next week, which they still haven't even sold a bunch of tickets for. I remember two two years ago or no, three years ago, Winter is Coming was like, oh my god, Moxley Omega. They're doing like, it ended up being Sting's like first AW appearance. That was like an oh my god, Winter is Coming. Now it's like they're, they're desperately selling tickets because there's heaps available. Anyway, yeah, Adam Copeland versus Ed. Not Ed but Adam Copeland versus Christian. They're both like 50. I'm watching the main event, a regular AW television episode. This is like the match that, as they're saying, it's been built for 40 years, 40 years of friendship, as Taz kept, and Shivani kept reminding us during the match. This is 40 years of blood, sweat, and tears, friendship, turned hatred. Christian Cage hates Adam Copeland. I'm like, okay. Nice. Um, so they're doing the match. It went like 20 minutes. It went like 10 minutes too long. I get it. You know, it's a big match. It's pal. It's been building for 40 years of friendship, pal. But like I'm watching it and then they're building up towards the crescendo of the match. And the, the, the moment that I couldn't believe was when Christian Cage was like, oh, I'm going to try and spear Edge. He's in the corner. He's like doing the Edge thing. He's like mocking Edge. I'm going to spear him. I'm going to spear him. 
Adam Copeland's like, where am I, pal? Where am I? Where, where are the fans? Where am I? He turns around. So Christian goes to steer Edge. Edge dives into the referee. The camera captures none of this. The camera misses, like, all of it. T- poor Taz and Shivani, like, well, as the, the camera didn't really catch, but it sort of caught Adam Pope knocked over Bryce Rimsburg. And then I was like, what am I watching? This is such amateur hour crap. Like, th- that was so bad. You know, it, it makes you appreciate the, the quality of camera work and Kevin Dunn and all the, the production people in the EPAL. We don't see stuff like this. Like, imagine if during CM Punk's big, when, when CM Punk came out, the camera was just cutting to the pictures of the floor and it was showing things that weren't relevant instead of CM Punk. It was, it was horrendous. Anyway, Kevin, I'm watching this. Yeah, a- Adam Copeland knocks over Bryce Rimsburg, and we don't see any of it, which was weird. Christian then marches over to Bryce Rimsburg, who's crouching, holding, like, just on the ground. Christian Cage, big low blow to Bryce Rimsburg. Rimsburg's on the ground crying, holding his balls. This is the, the, the fitting ending to this great feud, pal, Christian and Edge. And then Nick Wayne's mother marches down to the ring. Kevin, you think this was Vince McMahon at WrestleMania 17 marching down to the ring. That's how they made this same. That's, that's how they made Nick Wayne's mo- I kid you not, when you watch this, <clears throat> think of it as Vince McMahon at WrestleMania 17. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Think of it as that. Because, yeah, Nick Wayne's mother storms into the ring. Taz and Shivani are shocked. They're like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's Nick Wayne's. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Nick Wayne's mother gets into the ring. She's like standing there. Bryce Rimsburg, three minutes later, still holding his nuts on the ground, crying. Christian Cage is like, no, 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 no. And then Adam Copeland's just out of it. And then Nick Wayne's mother grabs the championship belt, stands there for like 20 seconds like this. Who do I hit with the championship belt? Who do I hit with the bells? And then hits Adam Copeland. And then they do the worst like, oh, Adam Copeland had an injured neck. 10 years ago, well, I'm going to stomp on his neck on the title belt. <laughs> and then Christian just won the match. And I'm sitting there, Kevin, watching this. It's 4.45 a.m. I'm about, I'm about to record this show with you. I'm watching this going, why do I do this to myself? Why do I watch rubbish like this? Botched camera shots, Nick Wayne's mother, Christian Cage, who's done great work this year. But his big match for 2023, his big culmination of 2023 kevin is a throwaway dynamite not even winter is coming not even a special not even a pay-per-view a throwaway match that no one's going to talk about fondly it was nick wayne's mother pal marching down the ring like she's vince mcmahon at wrestlemania 17 like she's stone cold steve austin on the january 4th 1999 episode of raw to help mankind win the title that's how nick wayne's mother marched down to the ring this is the content the warner brothers is looking tony khan in the eyes out and saying this is what the best you have. This MJF being attacked in the parking lot for the fifth straight week in this Samoa Joe tag team storyline. Kevin, that was at like 8:50 p.m. That that wasn't even an hour. That wasn't even. That felt like an afterthought. They're doing random tournament matches that mean nothing. Whoever wins the Continental Classic or whatever, what's that going to do for them? Just have Swerve Strickland beat MJF already. What are you waiting for? What, what are they doing in this company? Why is Moxley the nine seed? Why does he have a number nine next to his name? What does any of this mean? Why are we watching... I mean, the women's match... The women actually got a match on this show, pal. So fair enough. There was actually a women's match. Why is Chris Jericho still getting segments on this show? Why... Like, I couldn't... Bl- I just watched about 20 minutes of Dynamite. I'm just asking so many questions. I, I just can't believe what I'm watching. So Kevin, rant over. You're going to enjoy this when you watch it. Any listeners and viewers who haven't watched this... You're going to watch Nick Wayne's mother march to the ring like she's 1999 Stone Cold Steve Austin. It is blistering. But I'm going to ask you one question, and then we're going, get, we're going to get out of here. Yep. How long from today, December 7th, 2023, how long from today will we get that Brian Alvarez or that Sean Ross Sapp or that Dave Meltzer report of somebody, you know, an unnamed source within AEW that's, like, unhappy with having old guys main event Dynamite and, like, AEW not being what it used to be in the direction. And of course, you know, this unnamed source will be Matt Jackson, Nick Jackson, Hangman Page, <clears throat> you know, Kenny Omega. But they'll blame some wrestler, like whoever. They'll find a fall guy, you name it. 
I don't know. Yeah. I can't think of anyone irrelevant. Oh, on someone, the someone Cody signed under the table for like Dark Ward like Lowe, three years ago. Like Wardlow or something. It'll be it'll be Wardlow or Miro. You know, when when, when is that gonna happen? When when they bury Adam Copeland and Edge to the dirt sheets? Like, is that like we were like three four months away from that? Underscores AW wrestler cough cough Malachi Black expresses d- disinterest and anger over not getting a televised singles match on Dynamite all year. But Adam Copeland and Edge are getting 25-minute matches featuring Nick Wayne's mother in the main event of Dynamites. What is going on? Pal, yeah. this is like TNA when they went off the deep end. Yeah. And, and that, and and that does nothing eights. for Nick Wayne. And, and I know people are going to say, oh, AEW Bill stars. Nick Wayne standing out there, just literally standing there while his mother, Adam Copeland, and Christian are soaking up all the spotlight, does nothing for Nick Wayne. And, and that, with that, let's get out of here. Peace. But one, what, what, Kevin, just one more thing. At least Nick Wayne's mother's in the age demographic for AEW. She's like forty-five plus, so it, it, it fits. It fits the times, pal. You know, she's too old for Ric Flair, pal. But there you go. There you, there you have it. We'll talk to you guys later.